pet raccoon was killed by this aroma spray bottle. That's a lot to take in. Let me explain this crazy story. So a few years ago, there was this outbreak from this bacteria called Bocaldaria pseudomalia. It infected four people, killed two people, and was eventually traced back to this contaminated aroma spray therapy bottle that was sold at Walmart, imported from India, where that bacteria can normally be found. Now, I did a video on the human cases if you have more interest about the details of those. One of those patients lived in Texas, and the patient's family owned a pet raccoon, I guess as people in Texas do, and that raccoon had inadvertently broken one of these aroma spray bottles, walked through the liquid, and then two weeks later developed severe neurological symptoms and eventually died. And that family buried the raccoon on their property. After this, the CDC discovered the outbreak and found out that this family had this pet raccoon and thought, yep, that raccoon might have died from this and wanted to make sure that this bacteria that you can't normally find in the United States wasn't deposited in the soil and the water of the surrounding area. So the CDC unburied the raccoon and sampled all around. They dug one foot down, sampled the soil, sampled the water, and sampled the actual raccoon itself. And while they weren't able to actually culture the bacteria, they had a positive PCR test for the bacteria, which implicated that the raccoon got infected from the aroma spray therapy bottle, had the infection, and actually died from it in this outbreak. And the CDC disinfected the site with bleach to make sure that the bacteria wasn't spreading into the soil. None of the soil samples actually tested positive. So this is another great case of detective work by the CDC of not only the human cases, but the animal cases and the environmental impact, and another one of the thousand reasons why we should be supporting the CDC.